and welcome back. My name is James McGlennis and I'm running for Sheriff of Pinellas County, Florida. Uh, as a candidate for Sheriff, it's my job, in my opinion, to show the public what's really going on behind the scenes, the things that you don't typically see and they don't typically show on the news regarding the police. What I'm about to show you is a fairly graphic video. If, if violence bothers you, if, if blood bothers you, if, uh, if seeing someone tortured bothers you, then perhaps you should go watch something else at this point. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what goes on in the real world behind the scenes that the police don't want you to see, then stick around and I'll show you the video. What this video shows is the use of a police dog on a compliant subject. Uh, and what you also see on the video is a compliant man that had been tased. He is now face down on the ground. He puts both hands behind his back voluntarily without being touched. And after he's done all of these things, uh, the canine dog proceeds to grab this man's right leg in front of his entire family. His wife and children are screaming and crying. And the dog was allowed to maul this man for a substantial amount of time. You can see the handler of the dog grab the dog by the ears and, and lean down and whisper something to him and pull the dog up and hold him so that he can injure the man's leg even further. So one of only two things is happening there. One, the deputy is encouraging the dog to bite the man's leg and to continue to maul the man's leg even though he's being perfectly compliant. Or two, the dog is not listening to the handler. The dog is continuing to attack this man, maul this man, rip his, his leg apart after the deputy is telling him to stop. Either one of those things are unacceptable. And it's for these exact reasons that as Sheriff of Pinellas County, I'm going to completely discontinue the use of attack dogs. Here in Pinellas County in the past, we used to have bloodhounds and bloodhounds were very good for tracking, but they didn't attack anybody. They might lick you to death or bark as they had chased you, but there was no attack at the end of the chase. Here in, in current policing, what we have is we have canine officers that are militarily trained to attack and maul American citizens. This isn't Selma, Alabama. This isn't the 50s. This isn't the 60s. And this kind of practice needs to stop. So as Sheriff of Pinellas County, I'm going to make sure that there are no more attack dogs, no more torture, and no more events like the one you're about to see. Stay back! Stay back! Stay! Keep face down! Put your face on the ground! The dog is in one leg! The dog is in one leg! Please, the dog is in my leg, bro. Please, it's... Take it, take it off. Please. I'm gonna be okay!